Cumming once said, it takes courage to grow up to be who you really are. Today I'm going to talk to you about a generation. A generation of masterminds and lost minds. A generation born in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, give or take. A generation born in an era with the threat of Cold War, multiple recessions, the Rubik's Cube, <laughs> and Star Wars. A generation born during an era of rising divorce rates that also gave rise to a, the first generation of latchkey kids. And these latchkey kids, they had to learn to be independent, right? Self-sufficient, but they also learned to follow the rules because they had to follow that list of things to do, right, when they got home from school, check it off. And since they were rule followers, they grew up to follow the status quo. They got their education, started their careers, some got married and had children, but something was missing in their lives. Somewhere when they were busy being independent and self-sufficient, they became detached from their higher selves. Because it's really a critical period for the brain to develop that emotional attachment. That's what kind of separates us from other species having that long juvenile period. So you know what generation I'm referring to, right? Simply known as X. Literally an algebraic unknown, a lost generation <laughs> that nobody ever talks about, right? That generation between the baby boomers and the millennials. I am generation X. I was one of those latchkey kids. I follow the status quo. I am a mastermind. I mean, literally, I became a neuroscientist. <laughs> but I was also a lost mind. And like many of us, we come to this crossroads in life where we have to take a look at our lives and make a decision on how we want to proceed. And that time came for me about five years ago when I crashed into a pole in an empty parking lot, not going more than 20 feet. How do you do that? Who does that? I did that. <laughs> but let me tell you, what happened was my, my brain shut down. I was overwhelmed, stressed, and just like a computer that has too many programs open, too many tabs open, it will crash. My brain crashed. And so I crashed. And in that darkness, when I was in my unconscious state and I could hear the, the cries of my three and five year old at the time, I can also hear my higher self saying, Shantae, you have got to wake up. You have got to take better care of yourself. Because see, I was a wife and a mother, a graduate student, and I was working all the time and I was giving all my time and energy to everything else. And somewhere in that busyness, I lost myself. So I, I'm at this crossroads. And I can either continue down that path, that path that led me to that point, that crossroads, or I can take a look at myself and reassess my situation and go another route. How many of you have felt like you crashed into a pole or a wall? Maybe not literally, but something in life that caused you to say, wait a minute. Where am I? Lost. 
So I decided to stay in that place and not go down that road. And for a moment, just for a moment, I decided that I was going to detach myself from all those things that I felt defined me, my career, my relationships, all my degrees. Just for a moment, just detach myself. And let me tell you, when you detach yourself, just for a moment, what are you left with? You. And if you haven't been filling up your cup, your spirit, if you've been running on fumes, stressed out, overwhelmed, it's a very scary place to be when it's just you. It's very uncomfortable. It can be lonely, painful, and empty. And let me tell you, your brain is going to want to run for the hills, okay? It's going to want to run down that path that it knows for sure, because your brain doesn't like to be empty. It doesn't like to feel pain. It doesn't like to feel uncomfortable. It doesn't like to feel lonely. But that primitive brain is going to want to go down that road that you've already been, the road that caused me to crash into that pole. And I know what I knew where that path was gonna lead. So I had to sit with that discomfort just for a moment and trust in the process that if I dealt with that, that I could discover who I'm truly supposed to be in this life. And just like a caterpillar who knows it needs to go into that chrysalis, it knows it has to lose parts of itself in order to evolve and emerge as that beautiful butterfly that has that internal instinct, that heightened awareness to travel thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away to its next destination. It trusts in that process. And we have to learn to trust in that process. I have since emerged from my own chrysalis. I am now operating from the wings of my own potential. I once spent eight to 10 hours telling people what was wrong with their brains, but now I empower people with the knowledge of their brains and minds so that they can reach their full potential. And I wanna encourage all of you, I wanna encourage Generation X to go inside of that chrysalis be willing to stay in that uncomfortable state just for a moment. Trust in the process of that transformation so that you will, like the butterfly, emerge from that chrysalis free. Thank you.